Tonight on You Pay for the big and expensive issue for taxpayers, St. Louis City officials and families want to make the downtown St. Louis jail safer and prevent more costly uprisings. Tonight, I talked to the chairman of Civilian Oversight Board who has an ominous warning. That is tonight's You Paid For It. Often many taxpayers don't even think about the jails, but a lot of that changed in April and February of 2021 when there were inmate uprisings. As many as 100 inmates or more were involved. The jail had nine months of trouble. Inmates complained about poor jail conditions and other issues. I talked to a member of the civilian oversight group for the jail. That group was created by law with the blessing of Mayor Tashara Jones. Now, it's supposed to look for problems, figure out what's causing the problems, and recommend solutions. But Reverend Daryl Gray, who sits on that Detention Facilities Oversight Board, sounds a warning. It's a pot of cake waiting to explode. The same, the same ingredients that caused the four riots to happen under Lida Cruises, we believe still exist. And so it's a perfect storm. Taxpayers spent some $13.5 million to repair and replace broken locks and windows at the jail. Reverend Gray says the oversight board created after the jail riots is not as far along as it should be in identifying the serious problems and the causes. Overcrowdedness. There are over 600 inmates uh, in the jail right now. So overcrowdedness. Uh, we're concerned about uh, the health uh, of people. Are they receiving the kind of help? Uh, help that they need. Uh, we're concerned that uh, there is a uh, undercapacity of staff. Tina Davis says her husband was behind bars at the Justice Center. The jails are overcrowded mm -hmm. and they need to do something about it. Locked in one room with 17 inmates. The Civilian Oversight Board so far has not been able to push out Commissioner of Corrections Jennifer Clemens Abdullah. They called for her resignation. They say they cannot effectively work with her. But the St. Louis Public Safety Department said in a statement that it hears the concerns of board members and will work through this transition period to bring the DFOB into compliance per its ordinance and make sure it can operate effectively as an oversight body. The statement goes on to say, per the ordinance, board members are required to complete orientation, which includes a training at the City Justice Center. Orientation began last year, and one board member has completed said training from the CJC thus far. Director Call has full confidence in Commissioner Clemens Abdullah's ability to work with board members. There have not been any further uprising at the jail during Mayor Tashara Jones' administration. Meanwhile, Reverend Gray says it's critical that everyone work together for the common good. I believe in public safety. I believe in law, law and order. I believe if you've got A and B felonies, uh, okay. they have to go somewhere. Now, some could explain the overcrowding on the uh, closing of the city workhouse, but Reverend Gray says he has no regrets about the closing of that facility, saying the workhouse was in bad shape and it was time for it to go. You can bet I'll stay on top of this issue by the Civilian Oversight Board trying to make changes and the mayor's administration as well to deal with the ongoing problems at the jail. After all, you paid for it.